better uh, is to give you an appreciation for the number E. Yeah, uh, E as I mentioned, um, if I take one plus one by one whole to the power one, yeah, then one plus one by two whole to the power two, one plus one by three whole to the power three, etc., etc., and I keep increasing that number one plus one by n whole to the power n. This will approach the number e. Okay, e is approximately 2.718, but it is an irrational number. Um, 2.718 is good enough for most purposes. Yeah. Uh, if you want a very very accurate system, of course, you need many more uh, uh, digits. Now, this is not a graph of e or anything like that. This is a graph of e to the power x. Okay, so e is 2.718. Okay, please note on the y-axis, the number, the scale is much different than on the x-axis, yeah? One unit on the x-axis is one, one, uh, is one number. One unit on the y-axis is 20, yeah? 20 numbers. Um, how many of you have a calculator with you right now? You probably have it in your computer anyway. Okay, so p plug in 2.718 and find that cube, yeah? So 2.718 into itself, into itself. Tell me what you get. Yeah, about 20, yeah? So you can see here, if I take a horizontal line yeah, at 20, it's approximately at 3. You can just see, eyeball it and see, yeah? That's, that's, that's what you're getting. Okay, so this is a graph. So if I have a number, I told you right now, E, yeah? And I told you another number, 3, yeah? So you did E cube, yeah? E to power x. Yeah, so if I get to 4, the number here would be e to power 4. Why don't you multiply that uh, by uh, 2.718 again, yeah? That number that you just got, 20.07, etc. And what do you get? Fifty-four point five or thereabouts. Yeah, and you can see if I go up here from 4, I'll cross slightly below 60. Yeah, slightly below 60. Okay, so please let me know if you understood this red graph, what it is. Okay, now you have a couple of, you have basically one control and one parameter kind of a thing. Yeah? We'll deal with this checkbox shortly. But here you can change where this point A is. Yeah? This point here, capital A at the bottom. If I move the slider, oops, not that way. I need to change that. Change it here. If I move the slider, you can see that A moves. Yeah? Of course, everything else also moves, but that's a different issue. Okay, so the way we've got it, the location of A is determined by the slider. Then there's a perpendicular line yes, from A to the curve, yeah, and it cuts the curve at B. At B, I draw a tangent, that is this blue line. Please let me know if this construction is okay so far. You may not be able to construct the tangent, but please just take it that this is a tangent. Okay, all the mathematical work has already been done by the applet. 
Okay, so basically what's happening here is uh, I've got this curve e to power x in red. I've got some point A located on the x-axis. From A, I draw uh, per perpendicular to the x-axis. It cuts the curve at B. And then I draw a tangent to the curve at B. That's what I got so far. All right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. Okay, there you go. You can see when a is equal to 4, yeah, the value of your function was what it, what you just said, yeah, 54.6, yeah, to one significant, one uh, decimal digit. If I change it, yeah, to, let's say, 2, it becomes 7.39, okay? I can increase this to much higher, let's say 6, and it seems like it's not cutting, but I can zoom out, okay, and I get 403.43 as the value. Okay, so again, I can give you, for you it is easy uh, yeah, to uh, multiply, 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 but if I give you like 5.6, e to power 5.6. Now, if you use the value 2.718 and started doing it uh, to the power 5.6, I mean, how are you going to do 5.6? Do you have a scientific calculator? Even if you do, unless you have the exact value of e, you're not getting the exact value here. Yeah. So I want you to read read off values from this. So e to power 5.6, according to this, is 270.43. Okay? Is this fine? Alright. Now let's look at the second tangent. Yeah? So what I'm doing now, remember the blue tangent cuts the x-axis. It cuts at C. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Let me make this slightly smaller so I can see it a little more clearly. Yeah? What, what we're talking about. There we go. All right. So the blue tangent cut the x-axis at the point C, and I repeat the process. At C, I draw a perpendicular to the x-axis. It cuts the curve at D. At D, I draw a tangent, which cuts the x-axis at E. Of course, I can repeat this process indefinitely. Please let me know if you understood this process. Okay? So now, I want you to tell me, yeah, what is the length AC. Come on, just it's reasonably clear, no? Yeah, it's one. What's the length CE? Also one, yeah. Now that's a property of um, this graph, yeah? It's a property of E, yeah? That if I draw this tangent, it'll cut at the x-axis. Again, I do this process, I draw, it'll cut the x-axis, and the di distance between consecutive points at which the x-axis is cut is one unit. Okay? That's one of the properties of this curve. Okay. Now, please take these two numbers, the areas, yeah? 
and divide the the larger by the smaller obviously what do you get okay good you if you if we took many more uh, uh, digit uh, you know digits accuracy we would get 2.718 we would get e again yeah that is the ratio of the areas of successive triangles formed here is also e yeah and i'm going to ask you in the quiz to explain this yeah so the quiz will have one uh, subjective thing uh, field and you will need to write in um, you know what you think and that I will grade manually to see whether you'll have actually got it I want you to think about why yeah the ratio of these areas is E okay? so I'm telling you what the quiz is going to be you can think about it you probably already already know it it's not that difficult but I hope you understood there's just one parameter which shows the second tangent and then one thing that moves around. They are very simple little things, but a lot of properties of E can be obtained in this uh, with this applet. Is this okay? Okay. Do you all have any questions for me?